Hey, hey, MC Construction back on the grind. Today we're going to be talking about the Sawzall. This is going to be a short video on uses and materials that the Sawzall can come in handy with. Alright, the Sawzall is also called the reciprocating saw, but please call it a Sawzall because you will look foolish on the job site if you call it a reciprocating saw. So the Sawzall, hence the name Saws It All, can cut metal plastic or wood you just have to have the right blade for the job okay so if you're cutting plastic or metal you want a blade with a high tpi tpi is teeth per inch as you can see this has a bunch of small teeth and it'll give you a nice fine cut especially with metal or plastic on the other hand we have a wood blade um, in carpentry settings, the Sawzall is mainly used for demolition settings. So like this blade right here says wood with nails. They also make just straight wood blades. But you can see the difference in the teeth. The teeth are a lot larger and there are fewer teeth. That way it can really take out some of that material. Since you are probably going to be cutting like two buys, you want to saw through it as quickly as you possibly can. So the most important step when using a Sawzall, choose the right blade for the right job. On a Sawzall, your blade has actually four positions, which I'll show you right here. Um, when you are inserting the blade, you must pull up on this lever. Um, this one has the lever right here. But you'll pull up on that lever, and then you'll just insert the blade until it kind of locks itself in. Push down on that lever, and then pull, up, pull out on the blade, make sure it's in there. Don't get confused with this piece right here. This uh, little button right here allows you to extend or you can remove the base. So when you're using a Sawzall, the first thing you're gonna do is make sure whatever you're cutting is clamped down. If you're demoing something, it's probably already nailed together. So, but if you're cutting pipe, you might wanna clamp it down with a pipe vise, or if you're cutting a board, clamp it down with a clamp. The next thing you wanna do, make sure your blade's in there. Just give it a little pull, make sure it doesn't come out. Next, you want to put your base firmly against your material. If your base is not firmly against your material, then the material is just going to sit there and kind of vibrate or move back and forth with the blade because the blade just kind of catch it and kind of work it back and forth. So make sure that base is firmly against your material. And then finally, make sure your blade is at a 90 degree angle. You do not want to tilt the blade because if you are cutting something like EMT pipe or PVC pipe, then it's going to give you a really sharp angle and you, when you put it in the coupling, it's not going to fit in there right.